Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. The tea of the day is a tea from Verdant Tea. It's called Yulu Yan Cha, and it's one of my favorite black teas ever because it has notes of dark chocolate. <laughs> yes, and it's so toasty and yummy. Okay, let's get into this update. First of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hi, hello, I do, my name is Shan Rao. I do a lot of panning content, and this particular project was started by Cookie Pans on Instagram and Paula over at A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. I always link them down in the description box because their game is still ongoing. So if you enjoy this game of Battleship, but using single eyeshadows, definitely check out their content. This is a very, very exciting update for this project. And I'm gonna get right into why. This shadow right here, look at the tiniest baby pan that ever served lived. Hang on, let me see, there, you, there it is. This is Sydney Grace Speedway. I have been working on this shadow since the beginning of the project. This took me 94 uses to hit that tiny, pan, tiny, tiny pan. I feel like I should be throwing a party, a celebration. It took a lot of diligence. <laughs> I use this as my crease shade with almost every single eye look that I did. In fact, I would say the great majority. There was just a few eyeshadow looks where I desperately wanted to use something else. So I let myself, but most of the time, if I was using a crease shade, it was this one. Sydney Gray shadows are very tightly packed, and I'm just going to give you a quick swatch of this shadow. It is a beautiful, cool tone. Oh, I accidentally smashed <laughs> Smack my hand there with it, but this this beautiful cool toned brown. It went great with the shadows that I was panning earlier in the year, but I am so relieved, so relieved <laughs> to finally have pan on this. I'm gonna put up a little slideshow here of this pan through the months as I've been trying to pan it. So I think I said that took 94 uses. I was fully expecting it to take over 100, maybe even closer to 150. That pan just appeared out of nowhere, and it was so, so good to see it. Next up, this is the shade Sand Dollar from Makeup Geek. Look at that crater that I have going in this shadow. Still no pan yet, but I'm expecting it honestly soon. I use this again with almost every eyeshadow look that I use. It's unfortunate that I'm now like so over using cool tone shadows like this. I tend to cover it over with other shadows when I use it. I do like it for using with cool toned, just all matte looks. I think it's a really nice gray, nice and pigmented, and it's a nice creamy matte. Makeup Geek has really nice matte shadows, well, shadows in general. But yes, very nice shadow. I'm just very tired of cool tones at this point, but I am determined. <laughs> to continue with this shadow. I used it 22 times in the past month and before that 22 times in that month as well. So does that make 44 uses? Yes. <laughs> Whew. 44 uses so far in this project. So I'm hopeful that it won't take too much longer to hit pan on this one. Next up I have a NARS shade. This is the shade Lahore and I used this one 21 times. And check it out, there's a little pan in there. Again, this is such a pretty shade. I've been really into satin shadows lately. I mean, I know that I always gush about the super sparkly ones because I mean, how can I not? But I honestly do love a nice satin shadow on the lid. This was a pleasure to use, but again, I'm happy to be done with it since it's more cool toned and now I can reach for my warm tone shades. So very, very happy. This was a hit. I didn't mention that, by the way, so was the Sydney Gray shadow. I knew there was something under there. So both of these were hits. And I'll put up a picture at the end of the video exactly how my board is looking. So I actually just hit pan on Lahore just a couple days ago. So the next shadow that I've been working on is this one from Colored Rain. I actually have it on like the outer half of my eyelid today. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold. These colored rain shadows are very creamy, very pigmented, and very foiled. Like I, I hardly need any to accomplish what I want to with this. So I have no idea how long it will take me, but I don't think it will be fast. Um, but I intend to just enjoy my time with this shadow. Let me know down below if you have ever panned a colored rain shadow. That particular one is, uh, it's, it was from an Ipsy bag and it said it's 1.6 grams. 
Tell me, if you've panned one of these, how long did it take you? <laughs> how many uses? You can see I've just got a little bit of a dip starting. On, well, not even really dip. It's just usage showing on the top there. I think I've just used it a couple times. I'm going to put up the board now. Check it out, guys. I am so close. <laughs> I have not sunk any of her ships yet, but you can see that I'm close on all three of her ships. I just need to pan one more pan for each of the ships and I'll sink them. But Martha is neck and neck with me. I am definitely not ahead of her. So make sure and go check out, I know what, I don't even know if I said in my intro, apologies, I'm playing this game with Martha Blair. This is a competitive game. We're trying to sink each other's ships in this game of Battleship. So I will have her linked below. Make sure and go check out her video to see her progress. And we do do live updates on Instagram whenever we hit uh, eyeshadow pan to see if we've hit one of the ships. So if you like, if you want to see more real time updates, definitely check us out on Instagram. Right now there is no clear winner, <laughs> which is making this game extra exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you've been following along since the beginning of this game, thank you guys so much for following along. It's been a lot of fun to share it with everybody. Also, if you've panned a Makeup Geek mat before, how many times has it taken you? Now that I'm over 40 uses, uh, I'm interested to find out how long it has taken others for sure. Anyway guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!